Hey there guys, Luby Kempton here. This is my homemade transfer switch. It's built for 30 amps because of the contactors. It's only running on 120 volts right now. But it can be sourced to use 240 volts. You just have to change up some wiring and a couple taps that are on the transformer. Other than that, the uh, transformer controls how the contactors uh, or controls the contactors coils. It's also a uh, timer relay which tells there to be a delay between coming off source 2 and going back to source 1. But if you're switching over to source 2 because of a power loss, notice there's no delay. I'll go ahead and turn it back on. And you see there's a slight 2 second or so delay between coming off of generator power and going back to the grid or uh, whatever sources you want to use. Eh, focus. All right, and off and on. So it's pretty simple. It works very effectively. Um, obviously, there are no isolators in here right now. Um, you'd be using a safety disconnect switch on each load and then on the output, and that would all be fused, which would keep this from hurting itself and would keep the load or the generator or the mains from getting messed up as well. Um, I'm still in need of putting a fuse on the control circuit but considering that the transformer is only 40 VA I don't think we'll get very far before the transformer will go out. Um, other than that, I'm going to show you around here. fairly simple. One relay decides whether to go to source 1 or source 2. That's this one right here. And this one just tells the contactors to wait before switching back to the uh, main source. So it's, uh, it's pretty simple. It works very well. And because there's no computer, it cannot mess up and, and go stupid because of a lightning strike or something. It's very resilient. Everything's grounded as well, but um, that's only to be expected. Go ahead and show you that straight to the other load. Now, of course, there's some lag in the multimeter uh, reading which uh, current it's coming from. But other than that, it works perfect. So that's all I have for you today. Um, there's more videos to come. Well, not that many, but um, I expect there to be more videos. Um, if you have any questions about how it works or you'd like to see a more conf uh, concise or in-depth video, uh, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. That is greatly appreciated, and I'll see you next time.